Hi, welcome to Automation Control Step by Step. Today, we will take a look at five major steps which are available as career paths for automation professionals. The first career path is construction. This role involves installing, commissioning and servicing automation systems and equipment at construction sites. Field systems engineers need to have engineering skills as well as hands-on experience and travel flexibility. You will be installing the instruments in the field, installing the cables, wiring them and also connecting auxiliary equipment required for the instruments to function. So in this case you will have to install junction boxes, instrument air headers, you will have to manage a construction crew of technicians and fitters of 8 to 10 people and I mean by installing is that you will not be yourself installing but managing people that will be installing these equipments. The second career path is manufacturing of process instruments. Process instruments are devices that measure or control physical variables such as temperature, pressure, flow, level, etc. in industrial processes. They are manufactured by companies that specialize in automation and instrumentation solutions such as Siemens or Emerson. They use advanced technologies and engineering methods to design and produce instruments that meet the specific needs of different industries and applications. Some of the steps involved in manufacturing process instruments are developing the concept and specifications of the instrument based on customer requirements and industry standards, designing the mechanical, electrical and software component of the instrument using computer-aided tools, testing and validating the functionality and performance of the instrument in simulated or real environments, producing the instrument in large or small batches using automated or manual processes, Calibrating and certifying the instrument according to quality and safety criteria. Packaging and shipping the instrument to customer or end user. The next career path for automation professionals is the path of control system engineer. A control system engineer is a professional who designs, develops and manages dynamic control systems in various organizations. A control system is a set of devices that regulates the behavior of other devices or systems such as machinery, electronics, computers, etc. A control system engineer may work in different industries such as aerospace, automobile, manufacturing, oil and gas, etc. Some of the tasks that a control system engineer may do are designing and analyzing control systems using control theory and man management control tools, programming and testing control systems using software and hardware tools, installing, commissioning and servicing control systems and equipment at various sites, providing technical support and guidance to customers and sales teams on how to use and optimize control systems and products. Overseeing the planning, execution and delivery of control system projects. Checking the functionality and performance of control systems using methods such as calibration, inspection, measurement, etc. To become a control system engineer, one may need to have the following qualifications. A bachelor's or master's degree in engineering, electrical engineering or computer science or a related field. A license or certification in control system engineering such as CCST, Certified Control System Technician or PE, Professional Engineer. Experience in working with various control systems, networks, hardware, software and stakeholders. Skills in engineering, programming, troubleshooting, project management, communication and customer service. A control system engineer is a highly technical job with demanding responsibilities that ensure the overall system works safely and effectively. The next career path is that of a PLC programmer. 
A PLC programmer is a professional who develops, tests and maintains electronic control systems using programmable logic controllers PLCs which are small computers that control machines and plants. A PLC programmer writes, documents, installs and troubleshoots PLC programs and provides technical support to the company and customers. A PLC programmer also designs schematics, optimizes processes and performs fault diagnostics. A PLC programmer needs to have strong programming skills, logical thinking, communication and knowledge of electrical, mechanical and software engineering principles. A PLC programmer works mostly in the industrial sector and seeks to automate processes such as factory assembly lines and robotic devices. Some of the duties that a PLC programmer may do are designing and developing control programs for electrical machines and systems, looking for fault diagnostics and performing maintenance as needed, developing and optimizing PLC processes, visualizing processes to ensure a system is operating to its full potential, creating engineering designs and quality documentation, executing and reporting tests, cases in simulated or real environments, specifying and selecting instrumentation, sensors, actuators and drives, working with documentation tools, product structure and software roadmaps, coordinating system testing and installation. To become a PLC programmer, one may need to have the following qualifications a bachelor's or master's degree in software engineering, electrical engineering, computer science or a related field, PLC technical certification or license, experience in working with various PLC hardware and software platforms, skills in software testing standards, VFD and pump controls, robotics, work cells, Python application, debugging, documentation, performance tuning, etc. A PLC programmer is a highly skilled IT professional who designs, maintains and troubleshoots machines and plants that use PLCs. The last part that we are going to look at is engineering consulting. Engineering consulting is the practice of providing independent expertise in engineering, science and related areas to governments, industries, developers and construction firms. Engineering consultants work with businesses to help them meet their design and construction needs such as process management, product design, fabrication, servicing, technical advice, specifications, estimating, costing, budgeting, valuation, branding and marketing. Engineering consulting may involve various disciplines and specialties such as civil, structural, mechanical, electrical, environmental, chemical, industrial, agricultural, electronics and telecom, computer and network, instrumentation and control, IT, manufacturing and production, aerospace, marine, fire and safety, etc. Some of the tasks that an engineering consultant may do are meeting with prospective clients to discuss their engineering and technical needs, providing advice on solutions based on engineering principles and best practices, overseeing the implementation of suggested solutions and ensuring quality standards, developing and documenting engineering designs and quality documentation, performing engineering analysis and calculations, coordinating with other engineers and professionals involved in the project, testing and evaluating engineering systems and products, providing technical support and training to clients and staff. To become an engineering consultant, we may need to have the following qualifications. A bachelor's or a master's degree in engineering or a related field, a license or certification in engineering or a specific discipline, experience in working with various engineering projects and systems, skills in engineering design, analysis, problem solving, communication, project management and customer service, an engineering consultant is a professional who offers independent engineering services and expertise to various clients and sectors. 
I hope that you like this video and thank you for watching. Please click subscribe so that you will be the first one to know when I post another video. Thanks for watching.